go ahead and change out the coolant. The York YK. There's the coolant already pre-mixed. There's some of the special water to flush it out. I'll tell you what kind right now. The ionized water, that's what those guns are. We're gonna drain the coolant out, then we're gonna fill it up with that the ionized water, and we'll let it drain out. We're gonna hook it up right here, open this valve, drain it out. And then we'll go ahead and pull the cap on top of this little piece of pipe. I'll show you right now. Go ahead and open the valve. Get a little bit of water coming out, but it's really gonna come out when we take off the valve on the top. your water you're going to want to go ahead and undo these little knobs get you something stick it in here and you'll be able to open up this door you'll be able to open up the other one now it is live it is on so be careful but yeah then you reach in there and that right there was says p2 you go ahead and pull that out you go ahead and pull that out and then that will uh allow the pump to run let it run for a couple seconds 30 seconds plug that piece back in and then fill it up the rest of the way. And then you'll, you'll be good. I already went ahead and did that, drain that out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the coolant. I'll show you the rest of the process, but I'll show you pulling that deal right now. Make sure your valve's shut. Your heat exchanger. Then go ahead and add about one gallon. Just add one whole gallon. It's gonna get you about right there. You kinda can see the level down in there. It's pretty high up. It's probably about I don't think we can see it, but it's about close to the top. Now you're gonna to want to go ahead and run the pump for a little bit, and that'll uh, help bring it, help bring it up, uh, get it all through the pump and everywhere it needs to be. Go ahead and pull that out. A little wiggle and jiggle should come right out. There she goes. Have the pump running. See how the level went down and it's running the pump. Just let it run for a couple seconds and go and plug it back in. Then you're good. Go ahead and add your second gallon. And then just watch your level. Don't let it uh, overfill. You probably won't need a whole gallon. Just about half or maybe the whole thing. We'll check right now. I'll remember. Okay, took about half of it. About a gallon and a half. You can see it's right up here at the top. So just a little bit above here, because when it runs, it, it raises it up just a little bit. So I'm gonna run the pump one more time, and you come in here and you just pull P2. Right there, P2. That's what you pull. And again, be careful. It's all live up in there. Don't go messing yourself up now. But yeah, I'm gonna hit the. I'm gonna turn this off. I'll plug that, wash the level, and then just put the cap back on. No big deal. Good thing I went ahead and pulled it one more time because yeah, the level went down a good four or five inches, so I had to add a little more. This thing's just about just about empty now. You see a little bit still in there. So yeah, you'll need to you'll need two gallons for sure. And then right there. Right at the bottom of this cap. And that's it. You're good to go. Put the cap back on it, and that's it. So yeah, run the pump two times. Pull it. Go ahead and drain it off. Then go ahead and close it, 
then go ahead and fill it up with the di 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 ionized water. Sorry, got my tongue all caught up. Got ionized water. Fill it up. Pull the pump. Run it. Fill it up a little more. Run it. Dump it all out. Close it. And then go ahead and fill it all up with your coolant. You're going to need about a gallon and a half. Pull it and then let it run and put the other half gallon. So two gallons and you'll be good to go. And when you're done, go ahead and close this panel. And then when you want to close the other one, just shut it. And then get your control screwdriver or something. Push it right there at the top. And there it goes. It shuts in. Close it up and you're good to go. Shut the power off and then start going through all these different parts of electrical.